I chose checkers because it's not a dice game where it's lucky. It's a skill game. It but John Herberger will need a bit of luck this time around. The 70 year old man from Akron has his eyes set on an upcoming national tournament and he needs help getting there. John has already won a few trophies for his work on the board, and he gave News Force Jen Shantz a try today. Jen, how'd you hold up? Well, Melina, the game lasted about 45 seconds just before he jumped and captured his way to a pretty easy win, I have to admit. John says he keeps up the game to stay sharp, and it seems to be working. Now he's hoping to take his hobby to the next level. You can challenge your opponent to beat you within 40 moves. I'll have to show you that. If you ask John Herberger about checkers, he'll tell you about a dozen stories of the greats he's played and how he got into the game. When I was age seven, I was, my mom introduced me to Santa Claus. I said, bring me a box of checkers and a checkerboard. He's been playing ever since. Now at 70, his next stop is the National Checker Tournament in Branson, Missouri. You always have to have something to look forward to. Herberger has won the minor class before. Now he's stepping up to the majors. It wouldn't be safe to say I could win. It would be safe to say I could take second, third, or fourth. He's ranked 45th nationally, but says the Masters, comprised of top players from around the world, bring even more heat than he does. I can't enter that because they mopped the floor with me. Those men would have me for lunch. Herberger has gotten local recognition before for his board skills. He says playing keeps him feeling young and healthy. Checkers builds up the brain and the body because you got to have a healthy body where you don't sit at the board for eight to ten hours in one day and start yawning. You got to be physically fit. And he's got a routine. But what kind of things do you do to train to be a good checkers player? Well, I drink a lot of water and uh, I, I uh, do some exercise every now and then. But the trip to Branson comes with a price tag and Herberger can't foot the bill by himself. He's trying to raise money to get to the tournament in July. He's also trying to get more people interested in the game, which he says is losing some of its crowd. Well, the reason the game's dying, our old players are dying, nobody ever gets a corporate sponsor, but they could if they would try. It's a matter of willpower, desire and everything. He's got plenty of that. He plays for hours a day and says he's ready to face the competition if he gets the chance. Well, John tells me aside from keeping him young, what he loves most about checkers are the friends that he gets to meet while he plays. If you're interested in helping him get to Missouri, just head to our website, WIVB.com, and click on the Founded on 4 tab. Reporting live in the studio, Jen Schantz, News 4 at 530. That was a great Friday story, Jen. We love seeing that.